Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Vanilla 1x16 Let's Play series where in this episode we're continuing the little bit of a theme we have going on with uh, with farming and ranch and farm animals and whatnot. We're going to be making a tree farm today. Not an automated one, but a nice, easy, manual, nice looking one. Well, I don't know about nice. We're gonna see about that. I have some stone smelting in here because I will need... Wait, why am I smelting stone? Oh yeah, to do a thing. Anyways, <laughs> we will be making a wood farm today because this just does not work. These trees become too high and I need to scaffold up and get it. And yeah, it is it's, it's not a fun time. So I want a nice area uh, over here, right here in fact, to be an area for a tree farm. It's not going to be very big. It's going to house like maybe six or eight trees. Uh, depending on how far we can get it down here. So that will be the first thing actually to push the dirt back and then lay out where this is going to be. So that is going to be the project for today. And if we have time, I have a little bit of a thing in here with animals that I want to do. Because I realize that I need carrots and such for some of the animals. Uh, carrots for the pigs, of course, etc. But I don't actually have a farm other than that little bit over there. So why not grow it inside with the animals? It's going to add more greenery in there. And yeah, it's going to be good. Now, before we continue, a quick word from our sponsor, Astro Crafters. Astro Crafters is a brand new Minecraft server for 1.16.3 and below. It contains many game modes. It has survival, hard difficulty, custom claiming system, balanced eco and kits, random teleportation. That, that sounds fun. And donor ranks, which you can buy through in-game money. That's cool. You got creative, you can disguise yourself as different mobs, add friends to build on your plot, random plot claiming, and you can vote for world edit access, crate keys. That That's gonna be handy if you're building something big. And the thing that sounds most interesting to me personally, Skyblock in 1.16. Balanced eco and crates, island fly, normal and and nether islands are available. Tree twerking? I wish that was a thing in my world. I could just do this and the tree would grow. I didn't need to use bone meal. You have greenhouses, hopper chests, custom cobblestone generators, and more. You also have SMP on hard difficulty, basic survival, and it is pretty much vanilla, but with a few tweaks here and there, and events as well. If this server sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check out the information down below in the description. The IP will be on the screen multiple times during me saying this, and also down below in the description. They also have a Discord, they also have a website, and they also have a store, so, so go ahead and check it all out down below in the description right now. Supported versions are from 1.7 to 1.16.3 Minecraft Java Edition. So go ahead and check it out now, and you may even see me on there, because I really want to check out the Skyblock mode. So maybe you'll see me on as well, but go ahead and check it out down below in the description right now. And who knows, maybe I'll see you there. But anyways, with that done and said, let's get to chopping some trees. All right, so I have cut down the trees here and we now have five jungle wood saplings and I'm hoping to get a sixth. Is that one over there? Nope, that's a stick. All right, we're probably gonna get one eventually. Now I want to really quickly just stick out the stud over here where this sheep is actually. You're in a convenient spot, aren't you? Why don't you just come ahead with me? <laughs> this is very convenient. Because he's right next to us now. I just want to not attract too much attention doing this. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. You stay there. I load you with it so you can have it. There you go. Alright, so let me dig out this dirt here and let us start marking out where this tree farm is actually going to be placed. All right, area has been cleared also from gr grass. No, grass. I cannot speak. All right, so uh, so what I'm thinking is basically have like two rows. So if we say one corner is here, then we're going to go one, two, three, and then torch one, two, three, and then corner. And this is basically going to be the width of it. And then we're going to go uh, one. Actually, we need to go five, don't we? Yeah, we're gonna need to go five. So I think here, so one, two, three, four, then five, one, two, three, four, five. Right there. Yep, that's that's good. That's good. And then we need to go at least one, two, three, four, five again, and then kinda make a grid here, and then continue this grid all the way down 
for at least a little bit. I want, I want, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I can manage to maybe get eight trees in. Maybe if I move a little bit of that bush stuff over there, then maybe it's going to be doable. But this is basically in the center right here is basically where a tree would grow. So I guess I'm going to place some torches uh, where it would be. So two. Uh, yep, yeah, like so. So yeah, these inner torches right here is where a tree would grow. Like so. And a boop. And a boop. Now, can I expand it a little bit? I may actually not have to move any of this, which would be pretty awesome if I don't have to. This is one, two, three, four, five, and then boom. Okay, maybe at... Uh, uh, I might get away with leaving this here. I don't really want to move much of this jungle because I like how it is. But maybe we'll need to move this little bush here. All right, yeah, this bush has got to go. The tree can stay, but this bush has to go. Now, is this jungle leaves? I don't think it is. Nope, these oak leaves. All right, I think this should work right here. I think I like this. And then, of course, torch in the center here. This is two, this is two. Just double check. Yeah, perfect. So now what I got to do is basically take all this out right here. And then replace it with actually hold on do I maybe want to make it path can I convert normal dirt into path no I need to wait for it to uh, grow back into grass uh, I might want to do path path looks nice of course I just completely ruined this right here but uh, I'm just gonna put a torch right here so I know where the end is let's try back here so like that Move the torch. This would be the corner, of course. And move like that. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I was going to use jungle slabs. Put them there on the top here or under. Yeah, on the top. That would, I think, look better. All right. It is starting to look like something. Now, I'm still kind of expanding the dirt here. Uh, because I want a space enough for having a wall very close here and that is actually why I cooked that uh, stone in my ovens up there um, now I'm also going to th I think retract the dirt here and then up at the top here make a maybe clear some of this out and put a wall going around here as well so basically it will be safe from here uh, pretty much so I think that is going to be maybe even I might even make it line up with this actually. That could be the that could be the play. And then have it go around like so. I don't think I have enough stone for that, so I need to put some more over the oven. Um but what we gotta do now is firstly I need some more slabs. Secondly, I need some jungle leaves. Now where can I take these without it hurting the terrain too much? In here looks good. You, tree, this tree. Uh, I just need, how many do I need? I need eight. So basically one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's not it. Uh, that looks ugly. I can't leave it like that. <laughs> okay, I hate this. All right, I got my leaves. Now what we got to do is, I believe it was eight. I'll have to double check, but I think it's what's eight. So I need to go up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I need more dirt because then I need to go, I'm trying to remember here, up like this. Move that. Put you right that, 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 there. <laughs> and then put a jungle leaf right there. And we should be good. Now, this is going to look kind of ridiculous. But it's basically going to limit the tree from growing any taller than that. And I'm pretty sure that that is the height it needed to be. Yep, I just checked. It has to be eight. So now I just need to do that for all of these, basically. So once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then move a little bit out here. Put a block there and a leaf. Just to make, The leaf is really just to add. Yeah, the leaf is really just to make it... Uh, nicer. Also, if the tree does not grow any higher, we will always be able to reach it, even, I believe, standing here. So now I just got to do that for all of these. Uh, and then we will put the wall. How many blocks was this? Oh dear. 
All right, just did the final one and not looking too bad. Now I think I want to replace the slab there with glowstone eventually. I just don't have enough right now. I, in fact, I don't think I have any. But there we go. Those are that. Those are that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, now I'm just gonna place the saplings here because then they're they have the ability to grow, but also. Um, yeah, they are able to grow and we can then move on and just so I know where the center is. Now I also want some bone meal and now I want to place down the stone walls as well around. So let's get to that. All right, I have some walls right here. Now I do not have any mossy with me, but we will have to make some of those later on. Now, to begin with right here, I don't think I want much of a border other than this just leading in. We can even break this and then place that going out like so. And then I just want this kind of going around again, just one away from the path, I think is fine until we get to uh, this bit, then we need to figure something out there. And then over here, I think just continue. Um, I could connect it here, but I think I wanted to go up. No, if I am smart, I am able to actually connect this like in the middle somewhere over here, maybe. Now I know for a fact I do not have enough stone wall, I don't think anyway. Um, so I am I'm cooking up more stone, but I don't know about this. I could do something like that, just to connect it and then have another piece up here going off. So right here, I could have it go this way. Pretty much just follow the terrain. And yeah, let it go all the way around. Aha, one of the jungle trees already grew and this is a perfect height that we wanted in. This way we will be able to cut it down and be able to reach the whole tree. That is the perfect size right there. Also, I ran out of brick wall. Uh, give me a second. Okay, this is a very interesting push. This a block there, 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 and there. I don't want to. No, I don't. I don't want to destroy this. <laughs> I have to to get this thing through. Unless, actually, I don't. Actually, I think I got another idea. Let me just make it so that. Oh wait, yes, I do. I was thinking I could just end the wall here and then just make sure no mobs could get up here, but uh, they could just walk all the way around and then there's the rest of the jungle pretty much. Um, so yeah, I do need to get through here somehow. Uh, hmm. Now, right, a bit of a status update. We are nearing completion. I managed to get some mossy stone brick in here as well. And right now I'm just finishing this bit, hoping that I have enough stone wall to be able to meet up uh, with that right there. Still having to dig through some of this bush work here, unfortunately. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to do this. I don't know how these vines and such are gonna affect it. Hopefully not too much, but I think... Eh, let me up. I think... That... I have... That, uh, that's gonna bug me. I think I've done it, kinda. The issue here is this bushwork is like acting as a bridge to just get past the fences, so that's why I need to cut this down and let it decay. But when that has happened, we should be good. Now I just gotta get actually rid of this right here. Like so. And just lead it up. Like, oh, not like that, stop it. So, and I actually had enough. Nice. All right, this area has now been fenced in. Of course, now it also needs lighting and torches and such everywhere, which is going to be a thing that I need to do and just did. Now, I want some bone meal to really make this place look nice. I think I want some extra bamboo just to add a little bit over there. I'm going to take this crafting table, cover up this dirt. And yeah, put some bone meal around here, maybe a little bit of bamboo, maybe put some water over there and put some sugar cane. Actually, that's going to look very nice. And I actually have this little bit of a passageway right here through the fences right in here. So that is actually a very nice addition as well. Just maybe need to clear out some of this bamboo 
And maybe in the future I need to put a limit on how high some of these bamboo can actually uh, grow. But for right now, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. All right, water's in place. Put some sugarcane around here like so. All right, that is going to grow nicely. Now some bamboo and bone meal and I think we're good to go. All right, fence gate right there and some torches right here. Now I also, I think I'm gonna put some torches here on these bits. Just, it doesn't need it, but then they're there just to give a little bit more, I guess, aesthetic look, I think. Also to light up the surrounding area here around the outside of the eh. Yes, around the eh. <laughs> around the jungle here. Gonna put one there. And yes, see, this brush needs to really decay because otherwise it's not gonna be that helpful. All right, and now to spice things a little bit up. Just gonna add a little bit of bamboo stuff over here, I think, maybe. Like that. Just a tiny bit, not too much. I don't want to overdo it like I did with uh, over there. And... I think this is pretty much covered, but I'm gonna add just a few, like so. That is going to very really do some green, add some greenness to this place. And of course, where the trees are grown as well, now I know they take a lot of bone meal sometimes, um, it's going to be very nice. Now I'm also going to bone meal the outside here and the grass in hopes of getting some flowers and also some tall grass, just to make this look even better and I'm hoping for it to affect everything on the hill that is really going to add some green as well already this has been transformed in my opinion and not only that we are also going to do it inside of here at the trees like so uh, except for the middle part right there boom that really looks a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and try and grow some of these other trees. Well, we have an oak sapling right here. All right, there we go. Perfect. The others will hopefully grow in time. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I think with the bamboo is coming up, then yeah, that I don't think that's gonna look too bad. Well, hello there. Um, I think you're in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. Now, as the final thing. Well, actually, really quickly, before I forget again, um, I have not yet named these guys right here. Don't worry. I will pick a name in the next episode Trust me. I will don't worry. I will pick a name in the next episode um, And we will name those two guys. Thanks for everyone. Thank you to everyone for the name suggestions down in the comments below um, I will pick a name in the next episode. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, finally just before we end the episode I want to add some food areas at the um, What's it called? the animal area. Now, someone also gave me a suggestion to use composters uh, filled up as food troughs. And that is an excellent idea next to the cauldrons. And I just remembered that now, and we're gonna do that. If I remember how to make a composter, how, how, how does one make one of those? Aha, like that. I'm gonna do three of those. And we're just gonna... You know what? We have so much more bamboo and seeds. Actually, can bamboo go in there? I don't think they can. I don't believe they would be in real life because... That takes way too long to compost, compost down compared to other things. And yes, that does come from in real life experience. Alright, let us add these firstly in the food area. Uh, let's add them right here, actually. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, no. I don't... No! Why? Alright, actually, it does not matter. Good. We gotta put these down here. And... I'm gonna fill them up, I think, like that. Maybe? Do we want the white stuff in it, too? I guess it then really looks like a mixture. Yeah, we want that white stuff. Uh... Take some seeds, huh? There we go. They have a food trough. Nice. Now I want to just add some of these areas here, like this one. Right, I'm gonna take some of this down. I'm just gonna do something like that. Just a small area. And just plant carrots. Just there. And then maybe over here. 
just a little bit. We're gonna replant the flower over there. Plant some wheat. Because that those carrots will then be fed to the pigs and the seeds to the chickens and the wheat to the cows. Now another water area we may be able to do something at is this one. Uh, gonna do this one right here. Maybe some of this. Like so. And place down wheat. Like that. And maybe a bit over here as well. Because it can be behind the sugarcane as well. Just like that. I just want to put it in here and there to make it look nice. Um, I don't think if we should put any here. I don't feel like that would fit. I honestly think that might do. Um, we're gonna see. Now we have added it. I don't really have any bone meal with me. Oh, give my sword back. Um, I don't really have any bone meal with me. But I think we'll look at this in the next episode after some time has passed. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, we can make some more hay bales. Let's uh, let's do that. And by more hay bales, I mean two, apparently. All right, uh, put one there. Uh, I hate that. I hate that it does that. That's annoying. Um, yeah, we could put one more here. I guess we could put one there. And then maybe one over here. I don't like that. Could always remove that torch and place it maybe like so. No. You know what? I'm, gonna I'm just going to place it like that. You don't notice that wall too much. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Maybe even... Maybe even... Like that. No. It's too flush. I don't like it. Like that. Good, good, uh, good enough. Good enough. I placed them over there. Good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, that's one thing that is going to happen here. These edges, these things, they are going to get destroyed every now and then. But it's all right. It's not going to destroy everything. Plus, we will just have to, I guess, maybe put a hole in an item frame in there. And then we should hopefully be good to just fix it as we need to. Yeah, I think that's good. And it looks like a fourth tree has grown as well. That looks amazing, in my opinion. Let me know what you think of this place down in the comments below. And with all that said, wow, this is an epic place. Imagine a sunset back there. And yeah, this this I like this place. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. Leave feedback down below in the comments what you think of this place. I personally really like it. But let me know if you have any suggestions or something like that. Now, yes, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you would have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. It really helps me out a ton, more than you know. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like what you see here. And enable those notifications, become part of the Bell Squad. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever said that before. Um, is that a new thing? I don't know. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and... Goodbye.